Yeah, I mean, we have a we have a problem that is killing slowly three million Australians. And as we speak, one Australian is dying right now. Actually, um, twenty thousand Australians die each year. So during this show, maybe five or ten or maybe twenty Australians have died while we speak because of smoking. So when somebody wants to take a precautionary approach and wants to create such a complex environment for someone to access these products, and, and it's actually for someone that otherwise would be smoking, I just simply think that this is kind of draconian and it's just painful, especially when I saw it in my mom. If somebody tells my mom, yeah, you can keep vaping, but get a prescription, get benzene nicotine exported from place B, and then from place B, get these and get customs questioning. You showing your prescription, go to a pharmacist, get a pharmacist to order that online, and and all these gymnastics for you to get your vape. And it's something that is saving my mom. It is frustrating, especially when it's when I wouldn't do this if maybe cigarettes would be prescription. And then I say, okay, at least there is, there is symmetry. And let's keep that symmetry because, okay, at the end of the day, it's the same. But there is there a symmetry which is so uncomfortable because that same mom needs nicotine. Her, her brain works with nicotine. She's just not going to give up. Even after having two heart attacks, COPD and all those things, she's just not going to stop. You know, she's like, I will die smoking. That's it. I don't care. She would simply say, you know what? I can't vape anymore. You know, I just simply go back to my beloved cities you know my loved ones i had good times but times with them but at the end of the day they are the only thing that was always with me so i will just simply say to them why you want to create such a stringent method that will actually cause a lot of restrictions for smokers that can access those cigarettes everywhere i will understand that you're following that approach let's say for heroin and then you want heroin to be given in a pharmacy, and that happens here in New Zealand. Methadone is given in a pharmacy, but you don't sell heroin injections in a in a gas station. You don't sell heroin injections on in, in this kind of environments. It's not that easy to get heroin. You have, you can get it on the street, but it's not that, that easy. It, it's a bit a bit of a hassle, and it's quite difficult to access it. So th that's pretty much what makes me so uncomfortable. And yes, there are concerns about quality. There are concerns about to make sure things are effective, efficacy. Okay, yes, those are genuine concerns, but never forget the elephant in the room. It's actually such a big elephant that I don't think people can even breathe in that room because it's such a huge elephant. It's number one reason of, it's the number one preventable cause of death in Australia. So when you are taking a precautionary approach, when you're like, no, we just don't know enough, I just tell them shut up because that just I don't know is killing people right now. Right now there are many Australians dying as you speak. So when you take that cautionary approach, that cautionary ap approach is killing people.